Hey everyone, what we'll be doing today is we're going to be tackling the removal of the Bose amplifier from the 2009-2013 US spec Mazda 6s. Now these amplifiers are found behind the glove box over to the right and bolted to at uh, the firewall. Okay, It's a very very simple process surprisingly and something that can be handled with a few basic tools okay so let's jump right in now the first thing we need to do is to remove the kick plate okay uh, the one by the door sill okay so here we have the the uh, door sill so it's an easy process no tools required we just kind of get our finger behind here okay and we just want to lift and then we pry the outer side in in this kind of fashion like roll it towards the inside of the car and it comes up quite easily okay we just put that aside the next thing we need to do is just to pry the weather stripping back a little bit up to about uh, this uh, position here okay because there's an access panel here that we might need to get to okay so all of this here is what we need to just pry apart there's no tools required uh, no uh, adhesive or anything it's made to remove it will go right back in place okay now guys the next thing we need to do we need to reach back here where we see this little do here okay we need to just uh, remove this screw type uh, clip I don't know what they want to call it but you know it's a plastic screw type thing you know these things can be so annoying sometimes to remove but patience keep screwing keep screwing keep screwing and it'll eventually come right off so we set that aside the next thing we want to do is we want to remove this okay again no tools required just pop that right off okay and set that aside now this clip is probably going to be left behind but don't worry comes off quite easily be careful with it they tend to be a little brittle um, so just be careful with that one we'll address that before we we reassemble okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the glove box the glove box comes off pretty easy first you want to open it okay then the sides okay what you want to do you want to uh, just lift it slightly Okay, it's on some stops on either side. Just want to lift it slightly and pull the sides of the plastic in. Okay, that will free it. So then we want to get to this strut here. Just put your finger behind it and pull it towards you. Okay, use your other hand to stop to uh, brace the door, stop it from falling. And it'll come right off. Okay, very very simple. It, it fixes via these free hinges here. Set that aside. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to remove this panel here. So, if we look, we will see, let me get my hand here where I can see uh, the tabs. Okay, good. So here we have these tabs. What you want to do is push them down, okay, away from you, like that, okay? Now, it's not going to happen because I'm holding the camera. There are two of them. Another one here on on this side there's another one here on this side okay and you want to push them away from you Let's see. Okay. Let's see if I can get that in the shot okay and it'll come right down like that and away okay set that aside now right now you will be seeing the amplifier that's it right there let's get a closer shot okay so this is what the amplifier looks like okay she's all the way up in there okay now she's held on by six uh, well one bolt and six and uh, five nuts 
Okay, there, there's a, there's an easy way, and then there's a hard way. Okay, the hard way is to remove the four eight millimeter nuts. Okay, I believe we can, might be able to just see one somewhere there about. But in any way, the easy way is to remove the two 10 millimeter. This is one of, this is the 10 millimeter bolt. And then there is a 10 millimeter nut. Okay, all the way in the top. You might just be seeing it there. Okay, let me see if I can get a shot. It's all the way at the top. That's the more difficult of the two to remove. Oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, there's actually, um, <clears throat> not six, but seven um, te uh, uh, nuts and bolts that you have to remove. Uh, there are three 10 millimeters and uh, four 8 millimeters. But you don't have to touch the 8 millimeters, not yet anyway. Um, so this, I'm going to show you how to remove the 10 millimeters. Okay, so the first one is here, the lower one. Okay, and what we might need to do first, or what we'll do first, is to remove the connectors. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the connectors. Okay, be very careful with these clips. Okay, so gotten them out the way. So we need this. It's a 10 millimeter. Now I've loosened them ahead of time. <laughs> so just to show you. And I would suggest you remove this one first. Okay, because uh, it kind of hinges at the top there. Okay. How? The next one is wedged all the way, let me see, inside here, let's see if I can, I can see, okay, it's wedged inside here somewhere, I'm not sure the camera uh, will be able to show you, uh, I doubt it, let me, let me see what's going on here, uh, further up, okay, there we go, that's it right there, we're going to be needing to get rid of that. Now the way to do that, the easiest way, is to use a socket. Okay, This one, lower one, will, you can easily remove it with, uh, with a spanner, a wrench. Okay, so you want to get your 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so <clears throat> all we have to do is to get our 10 millimeter socket uh, in pretty much this way, okay. It's kind of difficult, guys, to film this uh, with the camera in my hand. Okay, brilliant. So we get back in here. Just like this, okay, and we just remove it. Now again, I went ahead and removed this, uh, you know, loosen them up ahead of time so they come off pretty easily with my fingers okay the other one is all the way up in the top here okay now there's a, there is enough space you might not feel it at first but there is enough space for you to put this up there okay and have a world an absolute world of space in which to work okay there's a re it doesn't look like it once you get past uh, the uh, the um, the filter the air filter cabin air filter you put your hand kind of like this and all the way up and just make a turn uh, let me see uh, if you if your palm is facing towards you or rather away from you like this you just turn it a little bit towards the front of the car just slightly and your hand will just come right to the bolt okay there's a lot of room to work with a with a with a 10 millimeter wrench okay and again i've done this before uh, ahead of ahead of time so here we have it okay so the next move it <clears throat> is to just just to pull the the wires out of the way just a little bit like that okay just hold it with your right hand, just reach up, just pull the 
amplifier away from the firewall. Okay, and just a little wiggling here and there. Nothing, nothing should be particularly in your way. Okay, okay, and out she comes. Okay, now <clears throat> I had mentioned a panel here that would have to come off. I didn't need to take it off because I think the manufacturer just wants us to take it off so that we can see, have a little light of what's going, uh, going on inside there. Um, but I don't, I realize I didn't need to remove it, but I'm going to show you how to remove it nonetheless. Okay. And we'll get back to, uh, this in a moment. Okay guys. So here we have it. This little panel here, the manufacturer recommends you pick, you, uh, pick it out. So we already moved that. We just get a screwdriver here and just wiggle it a little bit. It's that simple. Okay. To put it back in place. That simple. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. So these are the four eight millimeter nuts that I was alluding to that you may need to remove. Okay, um, for shipping purposes, I will remove it. Well, actually, when I did this for the first time, um, yeah, I went the hard way and removed these four first. And it was actually quite easy to do that. Um, but this way, removing the 10 millimeters is actually kind of easier from a space perspective. So um, this is basically it. This is the offending amplifier. 9M8118T806BB One of the worst pieces of electronics in this car Yeah, they all do that sir Yeah, so the problem I've been having with this amplifier or with the car is that I was on the phone and You know Bluetooth and then all of a sudden I heard the sound shift over to the left-hand side of the car and there went the right hand side speakers. The tweeter on the tweeter on the right hand side actually works fine, but the door the door uh, uh, mid range speakers, they're um, they stopped working. You know, I pulled the door card off and I checked, but uh, there was uh, no problem with them. So I did some research and I realized that uh, this little baby girl here is more than likely the problem. In any event. Let's go ahead and show you just how easy it is to remove these bolts. Ah. So, it's just a matter of an 8mm box wrench, spanner, whatever you guys call it in your home country. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put things back together in a reverse order. So. Um, I'm not gonna really film everything does we you know, I don't think we we have to but eh, Tell you what I'll go ahead and film it just to Just for those who want to see it Okay guys now remember when you're putting this thing back in place You want the plugs facing down when you do that the word bows will be upside down <coughs> But yeah plugs face down Now be careful, there are some little, little small wires back here that uh, you may snag on the way up. I just snagged them, so be very gentle.
So, bolt goes in at the bottom, just run it in a bit, just because we have it in hand. You know, I get something in hand, I deal with it. That's how things get lost. Okay, uh, next the one at the top, that's the most, that's the more difficult of the three. Again, it might seem as if you don't have enough space up here, but believe me, you'll find that. You'll, you'll find a way. It's, it's, it's really, really easy. I'm really surprised at how easy this actually is. Okay, I'm just going to run it in hand tight just for the purposes of the video. Okay, because my amplifier will be going off to uh, Virginia, I believe it is, as soon as I arrange things. Okay. Don't forget to plug these guys in. Okay. They can only go in one way. Okay. They can only go in one way, so no need, no need to worry. Okay. So that's that. So we need to then put this in place. These long tabs go in. Okay. They fit here and here. Okay. Let's see if we can give you a better shot. Uh, here and here okay see they've kind of marked it in white for us so okay so they fit right there okay and then they just snap in place just like that okay okay so the next thing we want to do is to replace this section here so here we go <coughs> now oh I had promised to show you guys okay I promised to show you guys how to remove uh, this little this little uh, tab here so just pry it away with your fingernail get the screwdriver underneath it Okay, so it fits in here, okay, the top, the very top section, the wider of the, of, uh, of the two sections here fits, see if I can get a bit angle, fits in like that, okay, and we just, there's a little tab at the bottom, at the back, where this fits in, so let's feel around until we get it in place, okay? Now we want to be careful, we want to make sure that this slides in, there's a little hole that's gonna slide into, we just kind of guide it in with our hand like that, just like that, screw this back in place, okay? Then, we want this guy, okay? It only goes in one way, guys, only one way. And I've managed to get it backwards. Look at that. Oh no, had it right the first time. <laughs> okay, here it goes. There. Okay, we can put this back in place. <clears throat> it's really falling down. Okay, now the glove box. Okay, get that in place. There's some two little tabs. Just get them in place. Okay. Just make sure they're they fit. Okay. Check. Okay. So you pull the tab down. Okay. This uh, strut tab. You just pull it down. Put it in. Job done. <laughs>